Hi there, we are Tim and Shannon. We've been living in our van for a little over two years now, and we just love it. We built it ourselves. Um, for the most part, everything is great, but there's a couple of things that uh, we've just tweaked. So we thought we'd share those things with you today. Here's three things you wanna think about though. One is these are not astounding, earth-shaking ideas. They're just simple fixes that we came up with that make life a lot easier in the van here. Number two, some of them are not exactly something that looks great or that looks sleek and it's hidden because we're people who believe that if you can reach a screw to tighten something, that's a lot better than not being able to see that screw and having it hidden away somewhere. So some of these things are just out here in plain sight, but they're very functional and they work and they make life easier. So we like that. And finally, probably none of these are gonna be things that will apply directly to you in your van build. But we think it may spark your imagination a little bit and you'd say, well, that wouldn't work for the lid on my fridge, but I'll bet you I could do something similar for my folding countertop or you know, something like that. So we're just hoping that this is some good information that might be helpful to you. So with that, let's get to it. So number one is our refrigerator. We have a chest style fridge here with a lid that opens like this. It seems that no matter how level we think we're parked, we're never parked level enough for this thing to stay open. And it's a real pain trying to put things in here. Like if we're at the grocery store and we got loads of stuff we want to put in here. When the lid keeps closing on us, it's a royal pain. And we lived almost a year in the van before I came up with this. And so what I've got here is just an old piece of aluminum. You can buy this at the hardware store. And I bent it in such a way that it pulls right out of the way and it'll hold the fridge door open. And then when you're done, you can just push it with your thumb and it'll close the door. Number two, our kitchen cabinet. We have several drawers. And every one of them, when we first installed them, we did these little catches that were supposed to anchor into the other gizmo here. But they're, they've got enough weight in them that this was never enough to hold these. When we go around a corner to the right, these would fly open on us. And then we'd hear this rattling back here until we found a place to pull over and stop and come back and close them again. I ended up putting one of these on each side. So there's one on both sides of the drawers and that was still not enough to hold them shut. So what I finally came up with, I was in the hardware store trying to figure out a way to do this and I happened to be in the nail section and I found these 16D duplex nails. Basically, I just drilled a hole right through here. We just put the nail in like this and the drawer doesn't fly open anymore. We did that on each one of these drawers, and every one of them is held shut. All right, so one of the things we got for our van is this ratcheting uh, paper towel holder. But when we like to have the door open so we can be part of the beautiful outside, our paper towels went flying. So we came up with a hack that is awesome. Once you get your paper towels back in order, we found this piece of hardware. It's like a hinge. We just mounted it and that serves as a weight on top of the paper towels. So it keeps them from blowing all over the place. One of my favorite hacks, hack number four. This was brilliant. We came up with um, screw eyes, just tiny little screw eyes underneath the cabinet here, and then ran a piece of string through it just all the way around. You get some wooden um, clothespins and you've got yourself a clothesline. So we go to the um, laundromat, but we don't dry all of our clothes in the dryer. Some of them we hang up. This is a perfect out of the way place for us to hang our clothes to dry. A lot of times when you live full time in a van, you get 
exotic locations like beachfront property to sleep at, but sometimes you're forced to stay in an urban environment, stealth camping. And when that happens, when you put up your blinds, if people can see those blinds from the outside, it's kind of a dead giveaway that somebody's staying in that van. So when we stealth camp on a street and we just want to get in, go to sleep, and then leave in the morning, we use a blackout curtain instead. We have blinds for these windows back here, but these are tinted. So from the outside, you can't even tell that we put a blind in, let alone see any light coming from the inside. But up front, that's not true. You can see those blinds in the window. So our sister-in-law gave us this blackout curtain. This is some fabric that she had for a blackout curtain in one of their bedrooms. It's black on one side, white on the other, so it reflects light back into the room. We very easily just attach it to our headliner shelf. We have these little clips and we just put them up like this. And then my sister-in-law sewed some black fleece fabric to the edge and it goes on this Velcro we have over here. We tuck that up there, stick this on the Velcro, and just like that, in minutes, we have a blackout curtain. And from the outside, you can't really tell that there's anybody staying in the van. Another problem we have is we like to have our fruit basket up on the countertop and it, as you can see, just slides really nicely on the countertop here. So that's a problem when we're driving because it's going to fall right on the floor. So a hack we came up with are these drawer liners. You cut it to the size you want and voila, this stays on the countertop. Welcome to the bedroom. This is our privacy curtain. This is nothing more than, it's just a piece of fabric we picked up somewhere and we hang it up in the back of the van. These are our back doors. We'll go outside in a second and I'll show you more about this. Basically, we got these magnets. We will link them below. As you can see, we've still got some metal uh, exposed here around the van in various places. We just take this curtain and with these magnets, We just put it up like that. It's a very simple fix. So there's always going to be times we need to get in the back of the van to do something. Uh, put something away, grab something out of the garage. And when it's snowing like this, or raining, it's really nice to have this cover here to keep all the snow and rain off of our bed. Also, that way, when we have the doors wide open, because we're getting something out of the back, People aren't seeing our bedroom and all our stuff in here. It's not so obvious that that's our bed. Not a big deal, but it's just a little bit more privacy that way when we have this curtain here. Also, sometimes when we have the doors open, like at a campground or somewhere more remote, more private, this helps keep the bugs out. So that's a, another benefit. And finally, the last one we have here is actually three in one. We had done a 10 things wrong with our van build video almost two years ago now. And one of the things that we got a lot of comments on was the placement of this USB charging outlet. And the problem we had was when we got camera batteries or phones or whatever, they're all over the table. They're right in the way. It's like this thing should have been put down lower so that the cords would, you know, come up from below or something and we wouldn't have this here. Anyway, it was just kind of a kind of a mess. It's not a huge deal. That's why we didn't count this one in the title of today's video. But real quick, just one thing we came up with. The phone cases that we have have this little metal plate here and that's so that they can fit on a magnetic holder. And so for over here, we just put a few magnets right up here on the wall. We just glued them up there. And now when we want to charge our phone, it's out of the way. It's not on the table. So that works really well. When we're not using that, 
Part two would be this little tiny clothespin clip thing here. And we just put the charging cable through there and it keeps it out of the way. It's not on the table. And finally, we also have a cord down here. This is for the laptop. And we just used a cup hook. Coil up the cord like this and hang it on a cup hook and it's out of the way. So it's not genius or anything, but these are just some little ideas about how ordinary objects can help you keep cords out of the way. So if this video is helpful to you, please give us a thumbs up. That would really help us out. And subscribe. Uh, you can see more videos that we're doing. We'd sure appreciate that. So until next time, thanks so much. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.